ordered a storage box for my pastels last night and it's arrived this morning and I don't think you're officially a YouTuber until you've done an unboxing so I have the box right here I'm gonna open it now let's take a look So there's the box. You've seen me open the drawers, and over here on my nice workstation, I've got all my pastels here. So I'm gonna take them out of this box and put them in their new home. pleased with how this has turned out. It's uh, looking rather fancy and professional, as you can see. I think when you want to use them, you just take the whole drawer out and then put it on the table and just use them as you want. Put the, put the put it back in the in the main box when you finished. Do you understand? I just got back from the art shop and I got myself some new toys. I went to the calligraphy shop and got some more paper. And I went to the art shop and bought some like liquid watercolors. They were really expensive, so I only bought like three or four. Well, these a purple one and a pink and a green one and I also bought these calligraphy inks in gold and silver for that color it focus it's not gonna focus so yeah I've got some nice new paints to play with so I'm really excited uh, I just had an idea of what I want to do today I'm not gonna do that print that I said I was gonna do. Above my sofa here, I've got this really ugly fuse board and then some patches where the wires go through. And really, I should have put some artwork up there a long time ago. And if I look in my room here, we go in here, I've got, I've got hundreds of paintings that I've made on this rack. Hundreds, but I like, can't find any painting that's the size to fit around and cover all those plugs. So what I've decided to do today is I'm gonna do some art just for myself, which is pretty much all I do anyway. And to get it to fit, because this paper, the paper I've bought in the style I want to do, if you have a look, it's not, it's not quite long enough to cover the whole board and the plug, so, I had an idea that I'm gonna do a triptych. They're gonna cut in one of the pieces of paper in half. So I have one in the middle that's like 60 centimeters, 
and two on the outside that are like 30 centimeters wide and then I'll go as long from the top to the bottom they're quite it's quite long the paper but it's just not as that wide so yeah that's what I'm gonna work on today and I'm gonna use my new colors that I've just bought so looking for like a green purple and pink sort of painting yeah I think that will work Let's get going. and I decided that I wanted to go for a walk because I was feeling quite tired and I wanted to wake myself up and when I got back from the walk I decided that it was time to cook some food so I've got some food cooking at the moment and as you can see it's dark outside now it's night time so I haven't started the picture yet um, but I have this feeling that I don't want to film myself creating this picture or at least the first part of it I just want to get my head like into it so I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'll probably show you some bits and pieces um, part way through and I'll film some of it but for the first part I just want to see what I can do I might because I'm not entirely sure what I want to do so I just want to see how it comes out and then go from there so I'll show you bits and pieces of it. Sometimes your head's just not in the right space to work. You try to work, you know, being a, wanting to be a professional, you need to show up every day and do the work and just make something. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad, just make something. But uh, this one I got on the go, yeah, I'm not very happy with it. I love the blue, the blue color that I mixed. You can see it's like starting to separate. That is lovely, the blue, but the rest of the colors looks a bit of a mess. Not really what I was going for. So yeah, I'm probably gonna redo this one or, well, I think I'll finish it as a painting, but it's not gonna be the one that goes on my wall, that's for sure. I'm gonna keep trying until I get the one I like and I'll keep that one. Still a little way to go, so maybe if I keep going, uh, uh, it'll look good when I finish, we'll see. I just wanted to film another thought that I had about this type of work. I think a lot of people don't really understand abstract art and, you know, it's about getting your emotions out on the page. And particularly with this style that I'm doing here on this Chinese paper, you have one chance to get it right because as soon as that ink goes on the paper as soon as the watercolor goes on the paper that is it it's there forever you can't really go on top of it and change it and mess around with it like you can with oil paints if you mess up in oil paints you can wipe it off you can paint over the top you can do it again but with this if you're not happy with it it's just got to go you just got to throw it away and then start again and that's really it for me. Why I love this type of work so much is because it's kind of like a meditative practice. You have to get your head 
in the right space to be able to do the work. If you're not calm and still and peaceful in your mind when you try and do something like this, it's, it just doesn't work. And that's why this one hasn't worked. My mind's not quite still enough to be able to get in, get into the work. I think it, maybe I require to warm up a bit. Maybe I should get some smaller pieces of paper and do a few like warm up pieces first before I start on a big one. But yeah, just wanted to record that thought and share that with you. It's been a few days since I started this painting and I'm actually a lot more pleased with it now I've started adding the background. I took some inspiration from an old painting which I'll show you on the screen now. And yeah, I'm doing like earthy sort of colors in the background as you can see. Like greens, I want, I've got a lot of plants in my apartment and I want to sort of match the plants but have some vivid color as well. So that's what I'm going for, and I've already decided how I'm going to paint the outside ones. I don't know what they're going to look like until I start, but I'm going to do one side using the blue as the main color, and the other side using the pink as the main color, and I'm still going to keep the backgrounds the same. So, yeah, it should look quite interesting. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, quite happy to film myself painting the background today so here's a little time lapse of me to finishing off this background. wondering why I don't just do a wash across the whole thing as a background first and why I paint the background last is because I'm inspired by Chinese paintings and a lot of Chinese paintings they don't actually have backgrounds they use a lot of the negative space to represent things and so I think I want to put a background in because I believe that the shapes that I create, it makes them pop. But I also want to use the negative space around the shapes. So I leave the white in around the outside of the, of the different shapes. And I use that negative space to give the painting a bit more depth. I hope it does anyway. So that's why I paint the background last. So yeah. Uh, I've nearly finished. I've just got this section here to do, the middle section, so which takes a lot longer because it's more intricate places to paint, but I'm gonna get it done.
finished this painting and I've hung it up temporarily with a piece of masking tape just to step back and have a look at it and I'm actually pretty pleased with it. Um, I wish there was like more foreground going on and less background but I like the green. The green matches my, my plant down there so that's what I was going for and I've just got the other two sides to do which uh, I think I'm gonna leave for a part two of this vlog because I'm not, I've promised myself I'd do a video every week and I don't think I'll get them finished by tomorrow. So I'm gonna, might start that in a minute and I'll record it, but it'll be in the part two. So look out for part two. And until then, give us a like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Have a good week.